want to take a second and go over a mechanism with you guys. The question is asking us here to draw a mechanism for the light initiated reaction of cyclohexane and chlorine to make chlorocyclohexane and HCl. So let's come down here below and let's start this thing. So let's take a look at this. Now, these free radical reactions are going to involve not a, a full arrowhead, but a fish hook arrow. So we need to come down and pick that fish hook. And the first step that we're going to do here, and I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys. The first step that we're going to do here is we're going to do a homolytic bond cleavage here. So we're going to take that with our little fish hook and pull it right over there just like this. And that is our first step. So what is this going to make? Well, it's going to make two radicals. So we're going to come over here and put in one, two chlorines. Now, mastering is going to fix the valence on this by putting a hydrogen atom there. So we need to correct for that. So we're going to come down here and pick this radical tool. And we're going to click on each one of those once. And that should be a successful first step for us here. Now this next step is actually kind of tricky. On paper, it's not too bad. So what we're gonna do is, and this is propagation step number one. So chlorine comes over and slams into hydrogen and we form a radical here. That's the end result of that. Now we have to draw that out. So we're gonna click on this and it's gonna expand chlorine. And we're gonna grab that single electron. And we're gonna pull it over here and we're gonna to point to the H atom. So it's coming over and, and that's ultimately the atom that it's gonna to bond to. Now this set of electrons right here is gonna break also. So half of it's gonna to go to right here. That's easy, so we just pull it around and we point to that carbon atom. Now this is gonna come around here. The other electron from here is gonna come around and eventually, and this is where it's tricky, and you're gonna to have to pay attention to this, but it's eventually gonna make a bond with chlorine. So we're gonna do that. But that, it's not gonna go directly to chlorine. Instead, these arrows need to touch each other. And the way that you do that is you come over and you get it to go here. And then if you click on this again, did you see that? So, right, and, and there could be all sorts of permutations there, but there's three clicks. So this is what showed up first. And there's a dotted line right here. But we want these to connect to each other. That's how we would write them on paper. So we have to click it one more time and now we're, we have a line that we like. So chlorine coming over here to H and they're connecting in this manner. All right, so we're gonna come down and we're gonna draw that again. So here's our cyclohexane and let's go ahead and put a radical in here. So put that in there. And then we need to put in Cl2. So let's draw that in just like this and we'll go ahead and put our chlorine there all right now this part is tricky again so let's grab our arrow make sure we got the right arrow grab there and half of it's simple we'll just do this now this is going to come over and it's going to make a bond to that carbon so we've got that now notice here when i did that do you see that arrow right it's pointing here to our carbon eventually, but look, our dashed line's pointing to this chlorine atom, so we need to click this again. Did you notice that? So I'll walk through that again. So right, right now, it looks like Mastering's interpreting this as this becomes a radical, and then that comes over here and reacts at this position. But really, we want that to be a radical, and then we want this chlorine to come over and make a bond here. So we need to make sure that that dotted line is to this chlorine atom. And we're going to grab this and we're going to swing around here and we're going to come down here to this chlorine. And did you see how they're touching just perfectly like that? That's what we want. So if you're not able to get that to occur, then you might need to click this arrow or this one until you get the dotted line here, that little light dotted line to work out to the right position. All right, so what do we have left here? Well, we're going to have this with our chlorine atom on it. So let's stick that on there, and then we'll have a radical that's formed there too. So we come over here, grab this, and put that in just like so. And then we uh, we hit submit, and we hope we get that little green check mark. 
and we do. So guys, this is your first introduction here to uh, the mechanisms. And I just want to point out, be careful. Watch for these little dotted light blue lines. They're important, and we need to make sure that we're watching out for them. Um, so I, I would encourage you to write the mechanism out on paper first, and then go through and see if you can get those little dotted lines to work out correctly. So just kind of watch out for that, and you'll, uh, you'll get used to it as you go through these things, but it takes practice. So keep working hard, guys.